Right, I'm wearing my hood again. Not a fashion statement because it's fucking freezing tonight. Um, it is six degrees down here this evening. Um, and everybody loves a cold start. So, seeing as it's six degrees, the coolant temperature is currently five degrees. It's about as cold as a cold start's gonna get this time of year. So, I'm gonna quickly check the fluids, um, which I think should be good. And uh, we'll give her a little cold start, shall we? Fluids are all good. It's an extremely quiet night tonight. <sighs> Neighbours are gonna love this. Right. Let's have a little look, shall we? So, just so you can all see, and I'm not lying, it is the coldest of cold starts. So, let's see <clears throat> how she starts. But anyway, I'm not done really any cold start tuning on this at all, actually, to be honest. So, uh, let's take it out of gear. It's gonna need a little bit of throttle in it, I would have thought. Right, let's give it a go. is I can't really see what way I'm adjusting the uh, TPS here so let's just have a look at that so it's at 0.1 at the moment let's see what way I'm winding it 0.2 no, I don't know what way I'm winding it well it started it seemed to idle quite nicely AFR is about right the idea is I'm gonna get this puppy warmed up and uh, then as soon as Dean gets here might take it for a little scud up the hill quickly because I have done a little bit of messing around with the fuel map um, since last time we took it out and it is now revving all the way through and making boost. So I would like to try and take it for a quick spin up the hill just to see uh, see what it pulls like. So uh, as you can see, it's very cold in here. Um, right, let me mess around for a bit. Catch you guys in a second. Right. All is good, it's been running for a little while, messed around with the map a little bit, sorted the idle out, it's not idling at 1000 RPM, quite happy, it's happier there than it was um, at 900. Coolant temps up to 74 degrees C, and uh, yeah, sounds quite good to be honest, sounds reasonably healthy. 
motor sounds good. There's a little exhaust flow from around there somewhere, but I'll sort that out at some point, not necessarily right now. Um, but sounds pretty healthy to me. The turbo's making all the right noises anyway. Let's see if it makes a bit of boost, shall we? Sort of put the boots on the boost. too mad with it whilst it's sitting idle whilst it's very fumy in here um, but yeah I think uh, sounds quite nice quite like that guy got to stand outside for a minute so uh, yeah I'm just gonna let this get up to temp and then we will um, yeah let this get up to temp and then wait till Dean gets here once Dean gets here we'll give it a quick pull up the hill just see what it does and uh, go from there right catch you in a minute Okay, right, it is warm-ish, Dean has arrived, everything's set up, I've gone round the car and taken out anything that's going to rattle or make an undue noise. I've also, since last time we took it for a little scud, fixed the rear anti-roll bar and tightened up the shock tower on that end, so that should stop that horrible rattle. Um, I guess we just give it a quick go, see what happens. I've got life insurance, eh? <laughs> no comment, right. Let's have a go. Right, you have that. Oh, by the way, I've put the bonnet on as well and started messing around with that, but don't look too closely because it looks horrendous. I think that's known as the uh, fire extinguisher quick access flap. Shh. <laughs> that's exactly what that is. That's exactly why I designed it that way. Right. You coming? All right. Jump in. Right, mount the camera. Let's have a little go. Okay, boys and girls, let's go for a little test. That should kind of just give it a lift and a bit of a tuck. It doesn't close all the way, that one, because the door's a bit better. That's it, give it a push. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> You're not going anywhere, mate. I hope not. Right. I was going to say, I can't exactly move in this seat. Fuel pumped out. What happens when you put weight on it?
Don't log in, stop logging. There you go. And let's have a look and see. Current temperature didn't go above over 70, 70. throughout that. And it doesn't look like anything's on fire, so I would say that's a success. Um, and the calipers are still on the car. And the calipers are still on the car. <laughs> Again, another great success. Oh, it does smell, does smell hot under there. But then, hmm, there is some sort of smoke coming off of somewhere under there. What do we reckon? Is it on fire? Your breather was breathing out. No, it's not on fire. I tell you, all it is, to be honest, is where the heat wraps got hot and just burning off any sort of oil that was on it. In fact, everything underneath, I don't want to speak too soon, but everything looks quite good. So, We only had 50% throttle is, a, is a, a thing to note because obviously we still haven't, I still haven't sorted out this, which I might do in a minute. Um, so we've only got 50% throttle. Um, everything else looks pretty good. Cam belt stayed on, didn't snap. That all looks good. That all looks good. Right. I'm going to have a little look through the data log. And then once I've had a little through look, a little look through the data log, you can tell I'm like proper pump because I can't get my words out and I'm shaking like a shitting dog. Um, I'm gonna have a look through the data log and once I've had a look through the data log, um, I guess we just find out kind of, yeah, where it was at, where the fueling was, adjust it a little bit and uh, we'll go from there. Right, give us 10 minutes. And I'll catch you in a minute. Okay, right, that was the first time <laughs> Dean has ridden shotgun in the Fiesta. With the turbo. When was the last time he was in this shotgun? Uh, Six, seven plus years ago? Gotta be. Was it the time the exhaust fell off as we drove down the road that time? When we left the pub? Left the pub. That was probably it, That's wasn't probably it? That's probably the last Which was what, 2013, 2014? Yeah, it's either that one or when the side exit pipe fell out. Ah, yeah. Away, yeah. Yeah. Pumping fumes in the car. Turn the entire inside of the car into a back box. I mean, the, the fumes coming into the car was one thing, Isn't but the true? resonation of the noise inside the car was, it was deafening, wasn't it? It was unbelievable. Anyway, first time you've been ridden a shotgun in the car in a substantial amount of time. Honest opinion, go. Honest opinion. I'm, st I'm still surprised I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the fact that, the, no, and this is all serious. We're still running plastic brake caliper carriers. No, we're not. <laughs> are we not? No, of course we are. Oh, of course we are. Um, Sean, is, Sean is making them for us now, as we speak. We... Uh, but I only, pulled my, I only pulled my finger out and um, actually sorted my life out and got Sean some money over to start producing the calipers last week. And there's a four-week wait. So, yeah, the front brake calipers front brake. on that little scud up and down the road were plastic 3D printed. Um, Disclaimer, I do not advise, but the rear brakes and everything do work 100% and the bias was set up with that in mind, but still probably shouldn't drive on plastic calipers, but props to your 3D printer. It did a good job, didn't it? <laughs> it did a good job. <laughs> anyway, 3D printed calipers aside. Nice to be back out in it. That it is. You know, it's, di I mean, it's difficult really on, on a road round here to really kind of open it up in the same way that we have done in other places. Yeah, yeah. Well, that well we can't, because we can't go any we can't further than, quite be at the road top road. of that hill where we turn around, we can't go any further than there, because that's then public roads. So, yeah. that's it's, as far as we fun. can go. It's fun. It's alright, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Nice to be back in the school court. I have just realised, not only were we on plastic calipers, oh, but there's only three lug nuts in that wheel. <laughs> We're professionals around here. Right, anyway, I am going to, yeah, we're gonna go over the data log um, that we just took, have a little look, see what we got, and I'll catch you guys in a minute once I've made some sense of it. Three weeks later. Okay, so real quickly then, before we go for another quick just test drive, I'll, um, I'll show you the log. You can see we reached a maximum of, if it will focus, don't know if it's gonna focus or not. Difficult to get me to get this to focus, but we meet, 
reached a maximum of 4078 rpm so we're we're barely getting to the point where we're we're coming into boost there um and that was a maximum throttle position you can see there of, of 52.4 that was as far as the throttle would go um we made a maximum amount of 3.6 pounds of boost um and our maximum afr went to 18.6 so it, it did go real lean at one point um what we've done is gone through and just our ve table over here majority of the area was here we just added added in some fuel um, i do need to go into the ve table too and just adjust the percentages for barometric correction uh because the way we're running this i'm not sure i'll probably have explained this before but because we have the itbs um, as well as the turbo we have to run two ve tables one that works on tps throttle position um, and another one that works obviously on map on pressure um, so that we can get enough resolution off boost with the throttle bodies but also have compensation for boost because obviously more boost more air more fuel so we've got fuel in it we have gone over the map i'm gonna make a few more changes i'll do it off camera um we fixed the throttle get some temp in her and uh because obviously it is now another day in case you hadn't noticed by the haircut uh but it is now another day so we'll get some temp in it get it all running and um Go for another little whiz up the road and see what happens. So, uh, yeah, right, catch you guys in a second. And it was all going so well. A few moments later. Hi. 
situation update we're now walking back up to the top of the street um what <laughs> what happened as you may or may have not gathered by now the other day when we took it for a quick test spin um i noticed that it was very lazy on the brakes a lot of bias on the rear so i moved a little bit more bias to the front um may have overlooked the fact we still had the plastic carriers on there um, and there was enough bias on the front left to actually rip the caliper clean off the off the hub so the uh yeah the uh, caliper fell underneath the wheel and bind it up we just managed to tie it up and roll the car back to the garage i'm just going to go for a quick walk up the street now um to try and see if we can retrieve our caliper and see how many pieces it's in um i also managed to cut my finger on the door again uh so yeah all right we'll take a little walk to the top of the hill that's what these test Ooh, drives are for stopped. there's nothing here it. Yeah. you see it I can see it boys and girls, it's just at the top of the hill, we're exactly where we thought it would be. Hopefully it's not been run over by anyone. Thankfully it happened going down the hill, not up the hill, imagine if it happened going up the hill. And there is it, and there's, items. Well there's two bits. Yeah, that's it. And this is a bit, that bit is still on the caliper, on the, that bit that's there the is still on the caliper. And there's probably well, just two other bits. Torn it through. That's, pulling it out. Oh. There you have it, ladies and gents. That is officially the limit of a plastic brake carrier. <laughs> Sean, hurry up, please. <laughs> I really need those carriers. <laughs> so, all right, well, on that basis, I'm going to end today's video off there because we can't really do any more test drive tonight, can we? Because we haven't got a front brake. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave that video off there, guys. I, uh, next video, it's probably going to be another video with uh, lots of little bits and pieces. Um, to tick off the list we are getting ready for MOT hopefully at the end of next month uh, four weeks is the plan so uh, yeah as always like comment subscribe there will definitely be more shenanigans in the uh, in the future so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and as always I'll catch you on the next one cheers guys